Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I want to cover Delino. He has been missing for quite some time now. I put him up um, five days ago on my Facebook, but I really think that I need to do a video on him and see if we can get him circulated a little bit more. So um, his full name is Delano Burks and he is a five foot 10, 200 pounds. I can zoom this in a little bit here. And he has brown eyes, black hair. He's a um, medium brown complexion. And last contact with him was November 13th in the early morning hours. It says that the missing person was last seen leaving um, McIntyre's bar near the 1200 block of West 20th Street in Houston, Texas. That changes a little bit. Sometimes I see um, that it was West 19th Street, but I'm not sure which if it's 19th or 20th, but I have seen both. On the 13th, the missing person left on foot in an unknown direction. The missing person was last seen wearing a black and gray plaid button-up shirt and blue pants. If the missing person above is seen or located, call the Houston Police Department Missing Person Unit at 832-394-1840. And that's the information on the flyer or one of the flyers here. But I'm going to take you over to a video. And they did a press conference. It's going to be parts of the press conference in it. I will drop the link down in the description that will be the full thing if you would want to see it. We're live. All right. Delano Burks, the 26 year old mysteriously missing for 10 days. Last seen on surveillance video running from McIntyre's bar in the Heights. That's right. Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf live outside the bar tonight on West. 20th Street. Now the search for Burks is intensifying as a congresswoman and Crime Stoppers is getting involved. Matthew. That's right, Rashi. Crime Stoppers now offering a reward in this case. Family and friends hoping someone knows something. It's our hopes that we find Mr. Burks alive. Calls for answers growing louder in Houston now 10 days into the desperate search for Delano Burks. We want to find Mr. Burks. United States Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee urging the community for help. We need everyone from the clubs to neighbors to look at your ring video or any kind of video that you have. The 26 year old had been bar hopping with two friends that Saturday night along 20th Street. At some point, they split up. Delano, shown here getting escorted out of McIntyre's bar around 1 a.m. Moments later, nearby cameras then recording him running alone, stumbling almost with a limp. In the, in the video, you can tell he was tipsy, but it also looks like there was more involved. The, when we feel like he was drunk, too. You know, he was with a friend that he hadn't seen in a while. They left him at the club. We are utilizing every bit of technology available to us. Any suspects right now? Still at a very early part of the investigation. We can't rule out foul play. Uh, but we cannot say that Mr. Burks, for whatever reason, uh, did not wander off. Right now, Crime Stoppers has an up to a $5,000 reward for any information that's leading up if we presume that there's criminal conduct as to why he went missing. For 10 days, family members have searched the Heights area for Delano with no luck. This isn't this isn't like him. Police say Delano's phone has been off. We've had drones out. We've had dogs out. Echo search has been brought in. He could be anywhere from there and beyond. Family, friends joined by local leaders, hoping their loved one comes home soon. For no one to come out, it makes us feel that it could have been sinister. We're just trying to stay positive ourselves. Again, Crime Stoppers now offering a $5,000 reward in this case. If you have any information, call police. We're live in the Heights tonight. Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News. Right. So this is pretty concerning that it says that him and a friend um, went separate ways and split up. I'm also seeing reports that are different than that. So I don't really know which it is because the report that I have, I'll end up reading it to you as well. But it's that 
um, the friend was driving his vehicle and with him in it, and they decided to pull over at that restaurant so that Galeno could go to the bathroom. And he got out and went to go to the bathroom, and the friend drove away and left him. So that to me is really, really strange. I don't know why, as a friend, you would drop off and leave another friend, especially intoxicated, with their vehicle. It's it was Delino's vehicle. Why would you take off with it? So it's, something's not adding up in this with me um, at all, and it, it does make me very worried. Uh, I'll play this video for you. Tonight marks nine days since a young man disappeared while hanging out with friends in the Heights, and his mother is begging anyone who sees him or knows where he might be to come forward. Grace White has the latest on the search for Delano Burks and a new reward in the case. Grace. Police told us they can't rule out foul play, but they also can't rule out that Delano Burks may have wandered off. Now, two days before Thanksgiving, this family is desperate for answers. We want to find Mr. Burks. No family should have to experience this. These are the last known images of 26-year-old Delano Burks leaving McIntyre's Bar on West 20th. It was early Sunday morning, November 13th, just after 1 a.m. He was with a friend that he hadn't seen in a while. They left him at the club. His mother, Karen Jeffley, says her son is married, owns a real estate investment company, and played football for the Lions at Texas A&M Commerce. Not coming home was not like him, she says. They had been there for a while because they were watching, um, I think it was the fight that they were watching, so he was, so he was tipsy. She worries something else may have happened. In the video, you can tell he was tipsy, but it also looks like there was more involved when we feel like he was drunk. But when we asked Houston police if they believe Burks was slip something in his drink. We do not have any evidence to suggest that uh, he was drugged or slipped anything. Uh, we can't rule that out. I'm saying it didn't happen. Right now, what happened is anyone's guess. Crime Stoppers offering a $5,000 reward, hoping to get someone's attention. It's very, very imperative that um, everybody, the whole community, um, helps us find him. The focus from the beginning has been on the heights, but police asking people tonight to broaden the search, saying he could be anywhere, and they believe it will be the public that will solve this case. In downtown, Grace White, KHOU, 11. Right, so I don't, I'm going to read to you this other article, um, but wasn't that concerning that it's a friend that they hadn't seen each other in a while. And then the friend leaves him. Very strange. So says the video of him running away raises. questions, increasingly concerned for his, he's 26 and he enjoyed a night out with friends on Saturday, November 12th, and he was last spotted in the early hours of November 13th in Houston. The group had enjoyed drinks earlier in the evening and were in Burke's car with one of his friends driving. They pulled over so that Burke's could use the, the restroom at the bar near West 19th Street, but he didn't return and they left without him. In fact, Burks was asked to leave the bar shortly after 1 a.m. because he appeared to be drunk and now video footage unearthed by the family shows him running and stumbling through the streets later in the night. The footage captured from a few different security cameras has sparked fears that he may have needed help. The disappearance of Burks, who owns a real estate investment company and who used to be a keen football player of the Lions at Texas A&M University, is out of character, his family said. Burks' mother, Karen Jeffley, said, I was wondering if somebody was chasing him. Like, why would he take off running across the ditch like that? His friends had his car, so it wouldn't have been like him. She added that her son's phone was out of battery and he didn't have his ID on him. 
he's not at the hospital. He's not with the police um, with the police station, she added. The alarm was raised the next day when Burks failed to make contact with his wife, Autumn, or his friends to retrieve his car, which is really, that's where I wonder, like, do they have his car back out? That's a question I'm curious about right now. Did they take off and, like, his car is also still missing? I don't know. But it says, um, quote, no matter what, he would call me. He would call his family. He would make sure that he got home. So this is completely just not like just not normal and something wrong, Autumn told the news channel. But the mystery has only deepened after surveillance footage emerged showing Burke's last known movements. Jeff Lee, speaking to ABC 13, described the videos as scary and added that her son definitely wasn't in his right mind. She urged young people not to leave their drunk friends alone on nights out. I agree to that. His behavior seemed so out of character that she told Fox 26 she fears that he may have been drugged at some point during the night. Burks can be seen stumbling or perhaps limping as he tries to run down the street. His brother, Pierre Burks, told the channel that watching the footage had been tough. Quote, it almost brought me to tears, honestly. He seemed like he was struggling. Monet Burks, Delano's sister, added, it looks like he's running from someone to me. Quote, the way that he was fumbling around almost looked like he was drugged or something, said Jeff Lee. Also, people keep bringing up that it looks like his side was hurting. Family and friends have been tweeting the footage as they hunt for Burks, and one described how Burks appeared to be in distress. A Twitter named Sloan wrote, quote, my friend has been missing since the 13th in Houston. Please retweet, spread the word to find him. Another Twitter user who shared the footage of Burks apparently running away wrote, please share my cousin has gone missing in Houston, Texas. A video suggests that he may have been in distress. His wife and family are worried sick. If you have any information, please call HPD's missing person unit. 832-394-1840. And here is the one about the cousin and the, the footage, right? Um, it's through TikTok and it talks about him being like a former uh, football player, et cetera. It will be on the, the link because I'm gonna drop this in the description for you. Um, the missing person alert put out by Houston police described Burks as African-American, five foot 10, weighing 200 pounds, brown eyes and black hair, last seen wearing black and gray plaid button up shirt with blue pants. Search and recovery team, Texas EquiSearch is aiding the search for Burks and flyers and posters are being posted around town. Mark Edwards, who works for the organization said hundreds of people have been found thanks to the group's flyers raising awareness. He said he remains hopeful because sometimes people temporarily disappear when they get emotionally distressed. Quote, quite often, they just take off walking and they are capable of walking long distances each day, Edwards told ABC 13. We find them like, like that alive and well, and they get the medical attention that they need. I'm hoping this is the case with him. So uh, I'm going to take you um, here. I will actually bring you over. This is only um, if you're interested, the link also will be in the description. Um, so you'll be able to find it. But this is a fundraiser that's being put on, I believe, by his wife. Yes, Autumn is, is doing the GoFundMe. And it states that her name is Autumn. She is the wife. Um, as of November 13th, my husband went missing. He was last seen leaving McIntyre is around 1.13 a.m. So there's a more specific time for us, 1.13 a.m. We still have not been able to locate him. It's a nightmare that I never thought I would have to live. I made this GoFundMe to help with bills as well as expenses related to the search to find him. Anything is appreciated due to me not working at this moment. And he is the main provider of our household. So, um, I'm going to be leaving that in the description if you would like to donate, um, the option will be available. And also I'll put that in the Discord too, in our GoFundMe area. And then also I'm gonna show you something and I do not know, I do not know if this is related, okay? So 
as far as we know for sure, he's considered missing, right? That is what we know for sure. Definitely, he is missing. So what I'm about to show you hasn't been linked to him. It's just a possibility. So this is from this morning. And it's investigation underway after a body was found in Port of Houston. However, I'm going to show you the distance. I mean, I guess after all this time, you could have made it that far. But I don't know. But I'll show you this. This makes the third deadly domestic incident in the Houston area just in the past on a second. I don't know what four hours. Please hold Sector Tower <laughs> talks to an expert about why we see this increase during the holiday. Here, we're going to do this because of and the, at the port of Houston, playing. we are working to learn more about a body found yesterday morning. The body was discovered in the water around 1030 near a boat at Dock 20. At this point, we haven't been told anything else, uh, at least anything that we can confirm. But as soon as we learn more, we will keep you posted. Now to small business status. Okay, so that we do not know if that has anything to do with him or not. We we don't know. Um, it, it did get connected to him on Facebook. Somebody had put it with his name saying that there is no confirmation yet. I don't know. I hope not. I really hope not. So this is the distance that's, um, I put it on West 19th Street. I believe that that is the correct location that they had said. I mean, they also talked about 20th as well, which is likely, I don't know, that's 11th, 12th, 17th, 20 is right there. I mean, so if anything, it puts it slightly closer, right, by one straight. But, I mean, this is quite a distance. Um, it says that it's 17 minutes by vehicle to get from 19th Street down to, if this would get off of there, hold on a second. Something just popped up on my screen that's in my way. Okay. And so down here to get to the port of Houston, yeah, it would be 17 minutes to do that by car. Again, there's been so many days that have passed. I mean, technically he could have, but you'd think somebody would have seen him walking by now. So, I mean, in the course of overnight into that next day, could he have made it? It's a total of 14.6 miles. Yeah, he could have done it. I suppose he could have done it. Here, let's see. Walking. Uh, three hours and 53 minutes. So if he left at 1.13, technically he could have been there if he caught it straight across, right? Like this, as they're showing. I mean, he could have been there four hours, you know, by morning or before, before the sun came up. It depends what time the sun rises there right now. I, I'm, But yeah, I don't know. We're, but, but don't, I mean, definitely don't limit that this is the end all be all and that he is definitely found. I'll update you if he has, because like I said, it's on my Facebook. Uh, group, so I will update it over there if there were to be a development or if he had been found. And I'll also update it in the description area of this video so you'll know. But I would say, you know, stick with the fact that he is missing and um, share it, right? Let's get his name out there and get him circulated more because this is not good. And I don't know why he got left and abandoned by a so-called friend to begin with. That's really strange to me. But um, I hope that you all are doing well. I will talk to all of you very, very soon. Have a good night, everybody. Take care.